SpongeBob lived in a pineapple-shaped house under the sea near Bikini Atoll. He loved his life. SpongeBob always had a smile on his face and saw the beauty in everything. One day, he decided to start his own YouTube channel to share his adventures and spread his joy. SpongeBob's channel was an instant success and his videos went viral, garnering millions of views. One day, while scrolling through social media, SpongeBob stumbled upon a heartwarming story about a man who restored the hearing of a thousand deaf people. SpongeBob was inspired and decided to use his newfound fame to make a difference in the world. He announced that he would spend $38 million to restore the hearing of 1,000 people. The video of SpongeBob's announcement went mega viral, generating over a septillion views. SpongeBob felt on top of the world and decided to celebrate by indulging in his favorite pastime, eating. He started to eat all day and didn't move much, which resulted in him gaining a lot of weight. Soon, SpongeBob became clinically obese and he started to feel concerned about his health. SpongeBob turned to his followers for help, asking for advice on how to lose weight and get back in shape. Unfortunately, the comments under his videos were not helpful, and some were downright mean. Feeling discouraged and embarrassed, SpongeBob decided to turn off his social media accounts and only drink Coke Zero. SpongeBob's new diet had unintended consequences. He started to float from the bubbles in the Coke Zero, and one day, he floated to the surface of the ocean. A fisherman found him and mistook him for a dish sponge. SpongeBob was taken from the sea and ended up living the rest of his days cleaning dishes and growing mold in a sink. Despite his unfortunate circumstances, SpongeBob remained optimistic and determined to break free. One day, he saw a ray of light and swam towards it, just like Nemo in that one movie. SpongeBob Bob broke free and was reunited with his beloved pineapple under the sea. He learned that true happiness comes from within, and he didn't need to impress others to be happy. From that day on, SpongeBob continued to vlog and share his adventures with the world, but he did so with a newfound amount of mold under his skin, and he was still overweight, but the Coke Zero had complicated everything, and now he didn't, he probably didn't have much time left. Look, I kind of improv at the end there, but he's, he's in a bad way. SpongeBob SquarePants gained thousands of pounds and then was brutalized. Uh, in, a, in a kitchen sink with God knows who many how, how many chemicals and and I don't know how he lived I do not know how he survived this ordeal